What's up guys, this is Ironic from PR Tech Reviews and I'm here with a tutorial on how to build a portable phone charger using a car adapter. It's really easy. So let's get started. So the things you need are a electrical tape, something to put it in which I would suggest a cardboard box, um, a 9 volt battery, car adapter, and a battery holder which is the thing on your bottom left. So the first thing is that you want to break into your car adapter. Uh, mine was fairly easy to take out um, or break into I guess. I got it from, uh, for a dollar from the dollar store. It, yeah obviously. Anyway so this is what you're after, the main circuit. Um, it's it shouldn't be too hard if you get it from a cheaper brand but whatever anyway so what you're going to want to do now is get your 9 volt battery and your battery holder and then just snap it on like so and then what you're going to want to do is take your negative side and attach it to this specific area or this part most of the car adapter should have it and then the positive side should go onto a metal part or where the spring is attached to you can put it on the spring. When you attach both of the cables, you will see that a LED goes off. If you do not have an LED on your circuit board, then that's fine. You're just going to have to connect your cable um, to your phone and to this, and it should be working. If not, then you might want to get a different one that has an LED. Anyways, now what you're going to want to do is get some electrical tape and attach it to the black or the negative side um, of the battery. So what you're going to want to do is put it on the electrical tape first, is what I would suggest, and then just put it onto the this part of the circuit board. Um, now what you're want to what you're going to want to make sure is that it actually touches the metal. Otherwise, you're going to have to take the tape off and then uh, put it back on. It's a big mess. I've gone through it. It sucks. So do it right the first time. Take your time. Don't rush through it. Uh, so I just sped it out, sped it up, and every now and then I just make sure that it's working. The wires are still touching. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is take the red wire and attach it to the main part uh, where it's supposed to go. And this part for me was kind of harsh just because it's really hard to put on. But if you do have a spring, it will be really easy for you. You're just going to have to like twist it and just put it on there and then secure it with electrical tape. And yeah, you can just put it straight onto the spring. So I just sped through this and I put the um, wire, this is the positive side by the way, um, onto the part. And yeah, so you want to make sure that the LED is on for the time um, being so that you know it's working for sure. What you're going to want to do is secure it in place and then get your cardboard box or what I used or whatever. Something you're going to put this in um, so you can actually keep it without it breaking. Um, so what you're going to want to make sure just to test it out is that you're going to want to take the battery out first and then attach your cable, your phone cable or whatever you're going to charge it with. Um, and you just want to plug your battery in after that and then hook your phone or whatever back in and then you can see it's working uh, so I'll, I'm gonna put my iPhone in and then it yeah it just charges so that means it's working you're halfway there actually more than half anyway so what you're gonna want to do now is that you're gonna want to unplug everything so you just have the USB cable now what you're gonna want to do with the USB cable is that you want to put it in your box where you want it and then cut out a portion so it stays there. So I'm going to put it in the middle-ish over here and then here, cut it out. And you want to make it a little bit bigger just so you have a little room, some wiggle room, I guess. But you want to make it somewhat tight, I guess. So not a huge hole, but yeah. <clears throat> so what you want to what you're going to want to do is take electrical tape or in this case you can take duct tape, whatever and just basically put this onto the main board I guess I don't know cardboard um, and just put it on securely and in the end I'm gonna end up using uh, not gorilla glue uh, super glue because it didn't stay on so you can use super glue just make sure you put it in a location that you know you're not going to need to use 
for example, I put mine on the LED side because I didn't really care for the LED. Um, but you want to make sure that it's actually working. So, anyway, so I'm going to put the, um, <clears throat> the super glue. And it doesn't exactly stick, so I just say whatever. I don't think it actually dried because I put a, quite a lot of it. Um, so I'm just trying to find a location to put it in, and I find the LED. And I'm going to glue it. If you want to put more glue, I guess you could, but just make sure that it's not touching any of the main electrics. For example, don't put it near the wires because super glue acts as an insulator and it won't exactly use it. So at this point, you're pretty much done. You're just going to want to tape the battery up so it doesn't move around while you're walking um, or it's in your purse, your backpack or whatever. Um, so yeah, you are pretty much done. So what you're going to want to do now is just add your cover and make sure it's stable. Oh yeah, something I do here is that some trick you can do with using this battery holder is that you can put it on one end of the things. For example, I think I put it on the positive end. Yeah, no, I put it on the negative end, but it doesn't matter where, but you can just pull it and push it so that the two things connect and that acts as a switch, so you don't even have to go buy a real switch. Yeah, you can if you want to, but that's a different idea. So, yeah, you're done. Boom. Easy. So, yeah, it's really easy. I, I don't understand why no one would not be able to do it. But if you have any questions, leave it in the comments or PM us, email us. Um, our, our email is on our channel. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So it works. It doesn't charge as fast just because there's so many resistors. Um, because because the car adapter is meant for a 12 volt capability. So in the end, your device should look like this. All right, guys, this was Ironic from PR Tech Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.